Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can change your organization's information in Office 365. So if you want to change the contact names, address, or any other information available, you can do that within Office 365 portal. So now let's get started. First, I log in with the Global Administrator account and I'm going to click on admin. And under admin, you want to go to show all. And under show all, there should be settings right here. And under settings, you want to click settings. And here is the organization profiles information you can configure. The first one is custom app launcher. You can add or delete a custom app launcher. For example, if I want to click on add a custom tile, click on add, and I would give it an, um, a tile name. The website information, then maybe like a SharePoint site, or external website and the URL image also some description you can enter so that's the app launcher and the next one is the custom theme you click on it you can change or upload the logo image and the it gives you the information here on the size and the pixels. And if you want to remove, just click on remove and make the logo clickable. If you enable that, the user will click on the logo and it's take them to the certain locations. And select background image. You can add the background image apply a custom theme you can change different colors or you can click on office 365 theme organization it's going to it's going to take me to the article how to do that let's go back here uh, let's see text color accent color prevent user from override the theme you can enable that so user cannot change it Show the, dis the user display name, name appear on top of navigation bar when the user sign in. Long names may be shortened, so it has a um, number of characters, so you can enable that if you want to. So that's the custom theme. The data location, this is you want to know where your data is stored. Just say if you are North America business, you want to make sure your data is a store in North America. This is for Exchange. The data store in North America. Exchange, SharePoint, Skype for Business, and Microsoft Team. All store in North America. And if you want more information, you can click on Learn More Office 365 Trust Center. Help Desk Information. You can enter Help Desk Information here. Add your help desk, title, phone number, email address, and the website of the help desk. Additional information, click on learn more. Keyboard shortcuts. Here's the keyboard shortcut. You really can't modify and make changes here. It's just information for you to do, uh, look at. Organization information. Here you want to change the name. I'm going to change this to Carson Cloud Channel. I'll call it YouTube Channel. And you can enter the address, city, and all that. 
I'm going to have to enter a dummy address. Otherwise, it won't let me change. City Orange State is California. Zip code. 90812. I don't know what the zip code is. Just a guess. We're going to save or the email address. I'm going to put it in the email address Carson at MEM expert. Dot com. Language is English. Click on save. An error occurred while trying to save. Something is not correct. And here okay, we're trying the settings. Okay. That's English. Let's see um, Anaheim. See if it's making a difference. I'm not sure why it's not taking it. I guess it didn't take the city orange. Nope, that doesn't take either. I'll troubleshoot that this later. I'm not sure why. So that's the organization information. Release preferences. So you can configure the updates for Office 365. Standard release for everyone. Your organization get updates when they release them broadly target release for everyone your entire organization get updates early target release selected user pick people to receive update early to to preview that before they uh, before they release to everyone else so this is called uh, this is regarding the uh, Microsoft release update or feature updates you can do um, target release so you select the user you want to get the update from Microsoft I'm going to click save change and you can select the users here so that's it that's the um, organization profiles configuration on settings in office 365 if you guys like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day